Now, in a previous video, when we were going through the Java classes, I showed you the, the primary purpose behind a class was to allow us to be able to group functions and variables together and then be able to access them as part of that object. Now, Go doesn't actually support classes. So you can't go in and define something called a class and, and deal with it in that way. However, it does give you the next best thing, which I actually, once you get used to it, you actually uh, will prefer it because it's, it's much more streamlined and, uh, and fairly much straightforward. Um, so the, one of the things that we have the ability to do inside of Go is to create what's called a structure or an interface and I'll get into interfaces in the in the next uh, video but um, right now we're just going to focus on the the structures so what we do is we define a structure and we basically put the type keyword what we want to name our structure and then give it the keyword for structure at the end of that to let us know that this is a structure let the compiler know this is a structure now then we have our open and closing braces. Now inside of here, we can put anything we want. So let's say that, that I decide that I want to come in here and I want to actually put in some uh, variables to, to be part of my class. Well, we can come in just like we did in our Java application and I can say that I have a variable called I that's gonna be a type int and then I got a variable J that's gonna be a type int. The, there's, if you remember from Java, we have a private and a public declaration for those variables. So if I wanted something to be public in Go, I would make it a capital, be, the first letter be capital. If I want it to be private, I leave the first letter as a lowercase letter, and that lets me know that that is a private variable that I cannot get to from outside of the class or from an instance of the class. So just to continue to drive home the instance versus the class um, this th thing that we're actually working on here is our object it is our blueprint so what we're looking at right now is our blueprint of our in this case structure so this is our blueprint this is our instance this is where we're actually declaring a copy or a, a, a piece of this structure now in go i can have functions now if you remember in java we would actually uh, come in here and do something like this with java we would come inside of our class declaration and we would come in here and create our functions now in go <clears throat> you don't actually do it that way and it actually has some pretty powerful uses that we'll get into as we go through but what we do is we define our class in the, our functions to our structure in this way. And quite simply, it is exactly the same thing that we normally do when we define a function. Uh, we, we start off over here with our function declaration. We have our function name, the variables that we're going to pass into the function, and our return variable. So there's nothing really different here. The difference comes in right here before and right after function and before we actually put the name of the function we're going to actually give it a pointer so this is m we're calling it m and we're it is a pointer to my class which is actually the name of our structure that we created so this function this declaration that we have here is what actually relates this function to our structure. So what, what I have done here is I've told it that you cannot call this function unless you have an instance of this structure up here. So this one piece of code tells the system that this function is now related to that structure. Now, the nice thing about this is that I can add functions to structures simply by adding another declaration in here and and uh, adding the function. Now, when we get into interfaces, you're going to see how this really gets to be cool. Um, <clears throat> but right now, just to kind of go through what we're doing in our code, 
Um, we start off with our structure. So here's where we have defined what our structure is. And this has just got a couple variables in it. It doesn't have to have anything in it. Um, I can have an empty structure up here and then relate these functions to that structure so that I can then come in here and create an instance. So again, this is our instance. This is our blueprint. Now, this is a little different than what we did in Java where we had one class declaration that was literally the whole blueprint. This actually has these pieces that come into play to add to our blueprint. So these are actually adding additional functionality to our class instance or our structure. Now, here we're actually creating a new instance and I want to point out this colon equals. You'll notice that I do not have a type on my. If I use a colon equals where I'm defining the variable and assigning it to something at the same time, Go will actually figure out what the type of my is on its own. So I don't have to actually specify any particular type. It'll actually figure it out on its own. So the fact that I'm doing a new my class, it will look up here and, uh, and assign this type as being my class, and it will assign it to the variable or to the memory area for this particular uh, new declaration. We'll get into more of this later. So... Now I have a variable called my, and you'll notice the only change that I made inside of this main function is I added my dot in front of the add numbers, and the, the this is supposed to be subtract numbers, but um, I've added a, 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 a my dot in front of it. The reason is because, again, I have changed my code to make add numbers part of this structure, which means that now I can only call this function if I have an instance of that structure. So, again, we don't have the concept of classes inside of Go, but you have something that is very, very similar and, and actually more functional when you get to uh, some of the additional things that we can do. So in the next video, I'm going to kind of cover interfaces and try to explain to you a little bit more about what's going on here with these structures. But it's a really powerful uh, aspect of Go that, that you can take advantage of, and, and there's a lot of cool things that, that come as a, as a matter of the way this works.